heaven is here, you know, that we live in paradise. And, and hell is here too because of what we're doing and just our blindness, we forget. You know, we forget we're, we're in paradise. So that's sort of like hell. And the purgatory is, is that we're just sort of constantly fluctuating back and forth between this. So there's sort of this question about, you know, what is permaculture? And also in uh, a related question is, um, Sort of what is paradise or what is really permaculture going towards and what's it supposed to create and what i've come to believe is that we exist in heaven hell and purgatory simultaneously that they're all around us and so for me this idea of permaculture this idea of conscious design is a way in which we can be aware of and move more into the awareness of what is heaven you know and not get out of this sort of like the pain and the suffering which is a part of humanity but also um, actually moving more into the idea of the joy and the beauty that is all around us and our ability to create it. When I come to uh, Darjeeling area and especially now down here in Ampote, I really feel this potential strongly. I feel how there is so much already here. There's really just such a beautiful cropping system, very dear and sweet people. You know, you have the Himalayas, very sacred mountain range, which we're a part of here, really gives me inspiration and uh, motivation to, to do this work, to go out there and look at what's around us and try to then see where the beauty exists and where conflicts and suffering exist and then start working with those in a way that, that alleviates that softens the suffering. Being a Buddhist, you know, I feel all, all is suffering, and that was a really hard one for me for a long time. Being in the beauty and the joy of being a human, it was hard for me to conceive that it was constant suffering. It's not that we get rid of suffering or we, we prevent the suffering, but rather that our awareness is more towards the divine. It's more engaged in the reality of creating beauty. Permaculture is this tool by which we can one, come to an understanding of what is around us, where is the suffering, where are the problems, and uh, what is the things that are not quite, that are degenerative, the things that are breaking down. Permaculture then gives us that ability to assess and understand this, and then practical ways we can take steps to move towards this creation of beauty, this creation of, of a harmonious uh, environment in which we as humans are a functional part of that we feed the environment and the environment feeds us. And in that sense, that's, that's what heaven is to me. It's full engagement in a way that creates beauty, that is part of the beauty. The Native Americans say is, you know, beauty above me, beauty below me, behind me, in front of me. You know, we are all part of the beauty. So that's, I mean, that's to me what really permaculture is a tool for. Here in Sikkim, often people are considered very economically poor. They don't have much money. But if you really look at the food they have, the environment they're in, the extended family they have, that this is actually very much a very good life, a very rich and fulfilling life. I mean, this idea of heaven on earth. It's fulfilling, you know, it's engaging and it's fulfilling and there is a lot of, of richness in that life.